Hey everybody, it's Lon Seibin, and we're taking a look today at a Thunderbolt 3 dock from CalDigit. This is their TS3 Lite, and what it lets you do is plug in a single cable to your computer, Mac or PC, and get a whole bunch of additional ports broken out. So you get two USB ports on the front, USB 3 and USB Type-C, and then on the back you get gigabit Ethernet, another uh, regular size USB port, audio in and out. Uh, you have an additional Thunderbolt port for additional daisy chaining, so you can plug Thunderbolt devices into this Thunderbolt device and keep going down the line with that and you get display port out. Uh, so very convenient, especially if you have a new Mac and you want to get a few more ports available to it, uh, plug in a single cable and you get all of this stuff for uh, the asking price here of $199. Now I do want to mention in the interest of full disclosure that CalDigit provided this to the channel free of charge. However, all the opinions you're about to hear are my own. Nobody is paying for this review and no one is reviewing this content before it is posted. Now in the box, you get the dock itself here, a nice metal casing to it, along with a very large power adapter and you need all this power because all these USB ports are going to uh, be powering external devices like hard drives and whatnot. So you definitely have to have enough uh, power for that. Uh, it itself requires power just to keep all these things working properly. So that is why this power adapter is so large. It does provide about 15 watts of power back through the cable to the device that plugs into it. So it's not enough really to charge anything. It's a uh, kind of a, a supplementary thing. Perhaps there are some Thunderbolt 3 devices themselves that maybe draw a little more power, which is probably why they do that, uh, but there will be a, a single cable solution in that you can get a dock from CalDigit just like this one that'll cost about $100 more. Uh, that will provide 85 watts of charging power in addition to all of these ports, and it will add uh, two eSATA ports for external hard drives as well. And that one uh, might be a better solution if you're looking for a single cable to charge and get all your data going and everything else. But on this one, you're going to need to plug it in with its included Thunderbolt 3 cable here uh, and provide power back to your device because if your computer gets under load, uh, that 15 watts is not enough to keep your computer from drawing off the battery. So if you are doing video editing and just using this to power it, uh, it will certainly not uh, be able to keep up with that. But it is enough to very slowly charge the battery when uh, the computer is off or keep it powered when it's just doing basic stuff like word processing or whatever. Now, very important to note the differences here between USB Type-C and Thunderbolt 3. They have the same connectors, uh, but the cables and everything else operate very differently. So you need to make sure that your computer supports Thunderbolt 3 before you consider buying this dock. Otherwise, it won't work. And a great example of the confusion with all this stuff are the uh, new MacBook Pros here. So the new MacBook Pro has four of these ports on it. Uh, these are all Thunderbolt 3 and USB Type-C ports. It just kind of knows what you're plugging into it when it's connected. Uh, but the MacBook, the 12-inch MacBook, the little one, uh, does not have Thunderbolt, even though it does have a USB Type-C port. So do your research before you buy uh, so you know what you have. Otherwise, you may or may not have much luck with this dock. I have a Dell XPS 15 that has a Thunderbolt port on it, and it's designated by having a little lightning uh, icon on the connector so you know that it works with it. Likewise, if this cable here that it comes with is too short, uh, you can't just go out and buy a USB Type-C cable that's a little bit longer. Even though this looks the same and fits in a USB Type-C connector, uh, these cables are very different. So uh, be very careful to uh, plug in only a Thunderbolt 3 cable here. Otherwise, you will not have much luck in getting your dock working. So the one they give you is short, but it does work. And again, you'll need to make sure that you've got a uh, tried and true Thunderbolt 3 cable. And the big difference is really between USB-C and Thunderbolt 3 uh, is speed. So these cables can transit uh, 40 gigabits per second of data versus 10 on USB Type-C. And when you're connecting displays and Ethernet and USB devices, uh, that makes a difference because I've seen on some of the USB Type-C docks that when I have a bunch of displays connected, the USB ports slow down because there's just not enough bandwidth to supply all the data for the video while still keeping everything uh, at speed with uh, the other things you might be doing on the dock. As you'll see in a second when we look at the performance of this one, uh, this is able to keep up quite nicely. So if you have a Thunderbolt port on your computer, always get a Thunderbolt dock if you're in the market for one because you'll get the best possible performance versus a USB Type-C dock. All right, so let's get everything connected here so you can see how it works. It's actually very simple to connect it. All you have to do is plug in the Thunderbolt 3 cable into one of these two ports on the back. It doesn't matter which one. And plug the other end into your computer. And uh, there is no right or wrong way to connect this cable. It is completely reversible. So it doesn't matter if it's right side up or upside down. It just works kind of like magic. Uh, plug it in and you're ready to go. So right now, all these ports are active, but you'll see my display is still blank. And my challenge is, is that my display only supports HDMI 
HDMI and not DisplayPort, which is on the back of the dock here. So you could get a, a DisplayPort to HDMI cable is one solution. Uh, the other solution here would be to get a USB Type-C uh, to HDMI adapter, which I have here. And of course, CalDigit makes these for your convenience. And uh, you can plug that into the back of the adapter here and then uh, connect it up to that free uh, port there on the back, the Thunderbolt port. And you'll see now that uh, my display is extended out to the uh, second display here and we're good to go. Uh, very important to note that although this does have a USB Type-C connector on the front, uh, this does not transit video, it just does data. So you can't uh, plug this into the front there to try to get video through that it didn't work in my testing. Now this will support two external displays. It'll support two 4K displays at 60 hertz, and uh, you can also connect a single 5K display. That is, of course, dependent upon your computer hardware supporting that also, but uh, this Mac and the Dell XPS 15 that I tested uh, supported two external displays in addition to the internal display on both, so you will have the ability to get uh, a lot of displays connected to your desk if you uh, hook this thing up, and it works actually uh, pretty well. So I did do a performance test, and what I did is I connected up a, a widescreen Samsung monitor, a 3440 by uh, 1440p monitor that runs at 100 hertz. Uh, that was connected to the display port. I also connected it up to my 4K 60 hertz uh, Samsung television. This is not a Samsung ad, it just so happens to be what I have around the lab these days. Uh, and it was able to, on both the Mac and on uh, the Windows computer, uh, project everything out to those displays and work perfectly. And then on the Mac, I also ran some performance testing. So I had a SSD plugged in uh, running a a disk speed test to see how much data we can push to it. And I was also pushing uh, test data over my Ethernet network at gigabit speed back to another computer on the network as well. And uh, nothing took a performance hit. So we had a 100 hertz display going, a 60 hertz 4K display going, uh, pushing all this data through the USB ports and the Ethernet and uh, no performance degradation whatsoever. And that is the advantage that you get here uh, from having a Thunderbolt dock versus a USB Type-C dock. And again, it was very nice to see that this works cross-platform. Uh, when I plugged the Windows computer in. It just came right up as well. No drivers to install. It was able to get itself working without uh, doing anything other than just plugging it in. I did find, though, that the Windows uh, connection took a little bit longer to get going. It took a few seconds, maybe about 20 or 30 seconds for it to detect everything and get everything up and running, but uh, after that it was fine. And in case you're curious, the USB speeds on the dock are running at 3.1 Gen 1 speeds, which means that they're all at 5 gigabits per second, including uh, the front USB Type-C port here. So if you are looking to plug in a high-performance Gen 2 device, it will only run at the uh, slower Gen 1 speed, which is 5 gigabits per second. That should be fine for uh, just about any external hard drive that you plug in, but if you've got some crazy RAID array or something, you'll probably want to connect that directly to your computer to get uh, the faster connection speed, but uh, everything else consumer-wise uh, should be fine with it. So good performing dock. It performs as I expected it to perform. Uh, supports two 4K displays, which is very helpful, especially if you are uh, using your laptop also as a desktop. A single cable connection gets all of that stuff working. I have been using Thunderbolt docks for a long time. Uh, Thunderbolt 2 and Thunderbolt 1 docks on my older Macs, and it's nice to uh, have an option here that I can plug in with a single cable versus a cable plus adapter uh, on my new Mac here, which works great. And I think a lot of you Windows folks will be uh, probably gravitating towards these docks in the near future because more and more of these smaller slim devices will likely only have these USB Type-C Thunderbolt connectors on them moving forward. So this is a way to get uh, your, all of your desktop ports available to you uh, very conveniently. So you show up to work in the morning, plug in your single cable, and you are good to go. Now, as far as power delivery goes, especially on the new Mac here, if you have your power adapter connected and the dock, it will draw its power only from the power connector and uh, turn off the power delivery from the dock. It does that automatically. So you don't have to worry about overloading your Mac. It will choose the uh, proper power device to uh, connect to when it's connected. So no worries there. But again, there will be a version of this dock available with power delivery as well to give you everything you need over a single cable. So very convenient stuff and uh, definitely worth considering if you are in the market for a Thunderbolt dock, especially because it works on both platforms. This is Lon Seidman. Thanks for watching. This channel is brought to you by my Patreon supporters. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash Patreon to learn more.
And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.